Hi, I'm Megan Broderick. I'm 18 years old, and I'm a senior at Alonzo, and tennis is my life. It's a life of backhands, forehands, and big serves. Megan Broderick is working her way up the national tennis scene. Ranked 27th in the nation amongst 18 year olds, Broderick is headed to Kentucky on a full ride. And that may just be the beginning. I think a lot of motivation and self motivation is always having those higher goals. Yeah, I want to get as good as I can. I want to, you know, get to that next level and possibly play, play professional tennis. So. Megan is not your average tennis player, constantly on the road, playing in tournaments all over the country. The Broderick family moved to Tampa from Wisconsin when Megan was in elementary school. With the Bay Area sun being a better atmosphere to maximize the talent Megan showed when she was just a toddler. Yeah, you know, when, when our kids were young, you know, we're, my wife and I are very active and we're always out playing with them. And, you know, one day Megan was in the street I don't know, seven years old, you know, with a tennis racket, and we were just hitting around, and my wife and I looked at each other and said, wow, you know, it looks like she knows what she's doing. And we asked her if she wanted to take lessons, and she said, sure, I'll take lessons. And within a year or two, she was playing in tournaments and winning tournaments, and it was, it was fairly natural. That natural talent is starting to win big. Last year, Megan won a state championship in Class 4A singles. She competes for Alonzo High School, and she's anything but your average student. A big part of the reason why I moved down here was to play tennis and um, to further my tennis career, so I decided to be homeschooled. So I've been homeschooled since freshman year, and this year I just decided to take a few classes in school since I am on their tennis team. Well, the, the benefits of homeschooling are that, you know, Megan can travel. She can be gone um, for a week at a tournament, and because she's got her computer with her, she can, you know, try to keep up with school in that regard. So, you know, the time she puts in a tennis during the day, um, you know, she can spend nights and weekends doing school. So, you know, that, that's the upside. Um, the downside is, you know, that it's still a lot of work to do, and you don't have a, a teacher right in front of you. You still have to get online. You have to read all your assignments and do things um, on your own. All right, let's put our hands in. Lonzo on three. One, two, three. Alonzo! Megan does manage to squeeze in two daily classes at Alonzo, allowing her to compete for the Ravens, where Coach Helen Zoash has been taking full advantage of a player that comes along once in a generation. She is the most decorated player that's come through, and she is the most all-around best player that we've had. She's an incredible hard worker. She's motivated, but she's not only motivated by the outside rewards, it's the inside that really works well. Uh, her, it's her true passion. She works really hard at it. She's had successes. She's had disappointments, but she always just rises above it. She looks at it like a challenge when she does have a falter. I think for any athlete that's trained as much as I am, there it does come to a point where you're just like, I can't take this anymore. You know, I want to quit. But um, I think the good times and the positive parts of the game outweigh that. And I think that's what's important in the end is just to keep going and to keep training for Megan two hours a day on the tennis court just isn't enough like most elite athletes off-court training is a necessity trainer Jody Johnson works with numerous pro athletes in the Bay Area and says Megan has all the intangibles to make the big time she uh, aggressively pursues all my challenges and, that, and, and, and I've challenged the highest level athletes you can work with. And so, and, and I know how they embrace the challenge and she embraces the challenge the same way and then attacks it very aggressively and successfully usually accomplishes what I've asked her to accomplish. She's modest and, and humble and it's something I like about her, you know, so she doesn't go around saying I'm gonna be that, but she brings that confidence to our training environment, so I, I honestly believe that, uh, I believe she could do it. It is sport specific and it, it's um, more specific to what we do on the tennis court. I'm not just going out and running, I'm working on little things that I know will help me when I'm on the tennis court each time I go out there. The object of um, a medicine ball is for me to stand on it and to work on my balance and stability. So I am balanced on the court, I need to have my center of gravity. Um, so I can really react to the ball and get there as fast as possible. 
I do rotator cuff exercises for um, injury prevention and also to accelerate my serve. I hop on to boxes, um, a lot of jumping movements to, um, to increase um, my calf muscles so I can accelerate to the ball faster and also for, to jump on my serve and just to get to the ball a little bit faster. Uh, we use the ladder for quickness and acceleration, um, just getting to the ball a little bit faster um, and also for setting up uh, when I'm getting ready to hit the ball, I need quick, quick steps um, to really get in position to hit the ball. You know, the points are one on the court, but a lot of times when I'm in um, Johnson Sports working with Jody, um, you know, he will say, you know, Megan, this is, it. we're in the third set, you know, really working hard. We've got to grind it out. Um, it just makes me move that much harder. And I know what I do in, um, in the gym here. Um, helps me on the court a lot and it's where a lot of my confidence comes from and my movements and also it helps mentally know that I'm prepared for the hard matches. At age 18, Megan Broderick's game is still coming into its own. How far she goes will be determined in the next four years when all eyes are on Lexington, Kentucky. I love to be on the court and I love competing and it's I just love to play the game. I would love to play in the U.S. Open, you know, here in the U.S. And it's just something I think a lot of tennis players at my level dream about doing. Well, Megan, I have to tell you right off the bat, I'm, I admire you for what you give up to play tennis, and that's a lot to give up. Do you get to do senior things in high school and things like that? You know, I do get to do a lot of senior things, even though I, I do make a lot of sacrifices. I mean, I just recently went to prom. That was a Great. lot of fun, so I got to hang out with everyone at the school and enjoy that. So. But your focus is right where it should be, and you go off to the University of Kentucky, and. I can just imagine what your plans are for there. Right. I mean, going to the University of Kentucky, I still, I am just so excited to get there. Even though I'm playing in high school tennis right now, I just can't wait to be on the team and be involved with um, the players there. Well, I can't wait until you uh, all of a sudden are headlining at the U.S. Open. We're <laughs> going to like that. We're going to say, gee whiz, remember when? Is that all right? Yeah, that's perfectly <laughs> fine with me. Megan, we wish you the very best of luck, and congratulations to you. You've really, you're doing it right. Thank you. All right. Well, when we return with uh, Bay Sports, what this baseball slugger thinks of the controversy surrounding Barry Bonds. Tampa Bay Sports Television is your ticket to 24-hour-a-day sports coverage.